So printing tracks in Pro Tools. What is this and why is it important? Printing tracks in Pro Tools is important because it's gonna allow you to save a lot of processing power for the program to run. And what you're doing is recording the track with the desired effects, compressors, EQ, etc., and printing it or recording it into a new track inside Pro Tools in the same session, allowing you to deactivate the track with all the plugins on it, therefore saving processing power. So let me show you what I mean. So especially when you're in a big session, for example, I have a session here with Nina Sky, and this is just a chorus and a couple vocal tracks. So there's gonna be a lot of vocals in this session. So instead of having my EQ, compressor, EQ, deesser, just as our basic vocal chain, on all of these tracks, we're gonna start to take up a significant amount of processing power. Our basic ace vocal chain set up. So instead of having these plugins, these four plugins on every track here, taking up power, we're gonna print it to a new track. So we create a new track, a mono audio track. This track's in mono, so that's how I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna add PR for printing, or you could just add the letter P. We're going to then send this out, for example, let's say bus 11, and we're gonna make the input of the track we're printing it or recording it to bus 11 as well. <clears throat> I like to keep these soloed, arm the track. I'm also gonna change the color of this to something different. I got bright green and we would then start recording. Let's celebrate now, celebrate with another round. We're floating so high in the clouds, we ain't coming down. To it's a little too hot, so although it didn't show we were clipping, it's too much. So I'm going to bring my compressor back down, and let's print this again. Let's celebrate now, celebrate with another round. We're floating so high in the clouds, we ain't coming down. Just hold up your glass in the sky. Let's do another round, another round, another round. All right. Bring these plugins down to the other track. I could bring them down or I could use option and copy them down. I would then duplicate this track we just recorded on. Option shift D. Uncheck active playlist and alternate playlists. Hit OK. Drag him underneath hook, hook 2. And we're going to label him HK2PR. He's already set up with the bus 11. The color code is good. We just have to. Change this HK2 hook output to bus 11. And now we'd be able to do the same thing for this track. We'd solo them, we'd arm it, we'd then record this track. Printing tracks in Pro Tools. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment below and check out the rest of the videos we have. Thanks for watching.